Hello and welcome to this next Substance Painter tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going to have a look at particle brushes and I've just set up a little bit here while I was testing. I'm going to start again. You can use the preview sphere and uh, I'm actually going to use uh, an old cube that I've got lying around. Click OK, discard that. OK, so I need to add a couple of layers over here. So let's add a couple of fill layers. And this bottom layer wants to be my metal. So I'm just going to go to my library and clear my filter and pull out a metal of some description. Uh, let's have rough. Whoops, don't need to do that. Just need to click it. There we go. And this one will have this fine rust. Um, I like it better than the uh, coarse rust. It's just darker. Okay, so to merge these together, we use a black mask, and I'm going to right click and add a paint layer uh, underneath it. So then in the brushes, if I type in particle, it will show me my particle brushes. And with these, we can um, do various things to paint our um, exposure map. And uh, like that. So let's try one. So, for example, heavy leaks. Let's see if this works. If I click across there, you'll see it's started to leak and come down. You can still change your brush size with um, Control and right mouse to get a stronger effect, so that you know it's not so subtle; it's uh, completely lost and the longer you click on somewhere, the stronger that's going to get. You see that's going down there just a little further than the rest of it. So I'm just going to paint along this side, perhaps a couple of times. And then let's paint around the side here. There we go, something like that. So with the particle brushes, you have all sorts of uh, options, which I encourage you to uh, play with. So we have things like a draw and bump sensitivity, draw and geometry sensitivity, fade opacity, etc. So if I take this fade opacity down, as it fades, it's not going to uh, be quite such a strong map. So it's quite subtle, um, but I think you can see it just about. Whoops, let's draw a bit along there. There we go. So if I take this fade opacity down even more, There we go. Actually, it doesn't look much different, does it? Perhaps I'm not doing that right. Never mind. Okay, so all sorts of things down here, all sorts of things to uh, experiment with to see where you go. If you are going to experiment with it, I suggest doing one thing at a time because the more things you change, the less you you know you actually lose track of what you're trying to do. So that's put like rust around the top of our cube here, um, but we have other things that can simulate. Uh, other particle types. We have one that's rain which will just throw particles down as if it were rain and where they collide with the object um, they will hit it and start to erode away our mask. So let's go in there and I'm just going to click and hold and then let go and you should see those little white particles hitting the top there and it started to pit away and take away our uh, top layer and I could do it again and it will gradually start to fade it out even more uh, but not only that it's also hitting the sides I don't know if you can see these little specks and things that's the particles hitting the sides and just sliding down but fewer particles hit the sides than hit the top because yeah it's kind of the nature of rain um, other things we've got, uh, we have a sandstorm. So similar to rain, except it's kind of harsher particles if you like. If you can see those going around there and sort of bouncing around and doing all sorts of crazy things. There we go. And yeah, so there's all sorts of options and um, 
it's another one that simulates sort of particles dropping so this is essentially going to drop water over the entire model and where you have uh, crevices and dips and such like that where water would gather the effect will be stronger and I have noticed on occasion uh, I don't know if it will do in this one yes it has done see at the bottom um, some of the uh, water has pulled down and come onto the bottom and is now kind of pulling and then dripping away so it's worn the bottom away as if you know as if it's uh, almost you know realistic um, I mean it doesn't look particularly realistic because the only ones that are ending up here are forming a very very square pattern uh, but you know we don't just have to use particles we can use other things we have this quite nice veins here and if I paint that around the bottom in the middle you'll see kind of a, an organic -y style uh, you know almost hair like kind of effect going you know where I'm dragging my brush which can be quite handy uh, you don't just have to do it down there of course we could include it up here see where you know I've got kind of a transition between my rust down the sides and around the top I'd like to fade that out a bit uh, if I use a brush which simply you know just blots it out it's not going to be uh, very nice um, <laughs> PC locked up there for a moment uh, but if I draw along here with my uh, veins brush it's going to give me a bit more of a blend you know make it look like somebody hasn't done it by hand don't know what's going on that corner I think that's probably my uh, crazy UV map almost certainly my crazy UV map sorry about that okay so you have all sorts of brushes to play with all sorts of things you can do and you know you can use them to make some really nice masks you can even combine them with a material and just paint you know as a material layer I prefer to paint masks personally and then blend materials but that's just my preference uh, so yeah I'm just going to finish off eating away this there we go so we've got some uh, metal on the top and yeah uh, we can of course kind of do the opposite uh, if I go down in my brush parameters and take my grayscale down to black uh, I could pick another of these brushes and then put some metal back uh, so let's pick one uh, la, la, la. Uh, well Phil I find a bit uh, kind of a little bit much uh, so let's try this organic here and I'm just gonna run over a corner and there you see we get our metal back I, I admit it's not yeah you know, it's not the best uh, example but you know I hope you can see what I'm uh, trying to get to so one of the things that uh, I'd like to do on this f for this particular one is put a little negative height on the rust uh, but I don't have really many options there so what I do is right click there and add a fill layer and then take off everything except height and then just give it a little bit of negative height so that at least my um, you know metal is standing proud of the rust so it's, it's kind of eating away a little bit there we go so I hope you found that useful a uh, bit of fun with particle brushes uh, do experiment uh, the reason I used my cube rather than the preview sphere is because I found that these heavy leaks didn't really work very well on the preview sphere um, in fact they didn't work at all and I suspect it's down to the shape of the geometry it's just my uh, assumption um, but I knew they worked on this cube because I tried it <laughs> I think it needs kind of a flat area to be able to you know uh, stick to and then drop down and that's not working because I'm on black still there we go let's put a little bit more in there anyway anyway yes so sorry brain going off on one uh, i hope you found that useful and uh, i'll talk to you in another set